I have received my rack version to Helium Hotspot after a very long waiting period. And today I am going to share with you a quick unboxing video followed by how to set it up. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel Eigentech. So this is the box in which Helium, the Helium Hotspot came. Uh, this is the logo of rack. I ordered it in the month of April and received it after waiting for more than 6 months. At the time of purchase, uh, I had to pay about $400 including shipping. So after opening the box, you can see there is uh, this small uh, piece of paper here which says uh, getting started. Let me see if I can focus here. So you can see it says getting started and on the back side says there are three simple steps. First you have to download the app, then power on the Helium hotspot and then uh, on board the rack hotspot mirror using the helium app and inside it uh, they have provided uh, 12 boxes to note down the 12 uh, pass phrases so it's very important to note down those uh, 12 letters so that you don't lose access to your uh, account so so this is the helium miner so the only difference from rack version 1 is there is a Bluetooth button here which if you press it, it will activate, turn on the Bluetooth. Other than that, uh, this is the antenna side which is the same RPS may female connector here. And there is the Ethernet port and the rest are the same, there is nothing not much. And USB-C connector to power it up. And this is the antenna, which is same as RAC version 1. It just says it's capa it transmits 902 to 928 MHz. And there's a third box here, which has the power adapter. So here is the power adapter, which uh, outputs 5 volt and 3 ampere of current. So in total. 15 watt of power that's the maximum rating for this but the helium miner usually consumes only 5 watt of power all right let us now start the onboarding process first i need to power it up so to start the onboarding you need a helium account if you don't have one i have already shown that in a previous video how to create a helium account uh, you will find the link in the description as well as the at the top right corner So after turning it on, uh, you can see there is a red LED which turned on and there is another green LED beside this which uh, blinked for a few times and then turned off. So it's now uh, starting up, it takes about one minute to start up. So meanwhile I can open my Helium app. So make sure that you have the latest version of the Helium app and you get it updated if it's not the case. So I'll authenticate and I have to enable the location so I'll just click OK. Then I have, it says add a Helium Miner, I'll click on add hotspot. So this is a fresh account and there is no Helium Miner as you can see the wallet balance is zero right now. So I go back here and click on hotspots and then click on add hotspot. Now I have to select which hotspot to connect. So this is a rack hotspot. So there is no difference between version 1 and version 2, so I'll click on Rack Hotspot, then it gives me a few instructions that how to place your hotspot, basically you don't place it inside your room, try to put it close to a window and don't have bug screen. So I'll click on I have read the instruction and I understand, and then it says that plug in the provided power adapter into an outlet near a window. So I have already powered it up and I'll click on I am powered up and then select scan for my hotspot. So my Bluetooth is not turned on, but this app is automatically going to turn on Bluetooth and search for the hotspot. So at this stage, you can connect the, uh, you can connect your antenna to the miner, but I have not because this is a fresh miner and it's not registered to the network. So it's completely unsynced and it's not going to send any beacon signal. So there is no problem with the uh, not connecting the 
antenna but you should connect it after it's registered so i'll uh, it has showed up on the app so i'll click on the helium hotspot and say it's now connecting to the helium hotspot probably it will take a few seconds all right so there now you can see that it has detected it and saying that it can scan for the wi-fi or you can use the ethernet as well so i have seen earlier that i didn't face any problem using the wi-fi so right now i'm going to select the wi-fi option but if you have a poor reception through the wi-fi router you should use the ethernet cable so it's saying no wi-fi networks found so it can take up to three minutes for the hotspot to boot and find other network. so i click on scan networks again so it took about one minute and then the available networks showed up so i'll select my wi-fi and enter the password click on the tick mark and it'll say connecting to the network okay so it's now probably connected to the network and says set hotspot location however i'm not going to set the hotspot location right now uh, i'm going to do it later so i'll say that no thanks i'll set it up later so i'll probably make another video while setting up the location so i'll click on this option and now it says add hotspot you have decided to assert location later update your location later from the settings so then i click on register hotspot So the registering the hotspot might take uh, several minutes. We have to just simply wait for that. And it's uh, already saying that. So it's saying that now we can go back to your wallet. So the transaction has been initiated for registering this hotspot to the blockchain. And probably I'll get a confirmation several minutes later. So I'll click on go to wallet. So if I now click on this arrow icon, and you can see that it says that hotspot added to the blockchain. And it has also got the name over parchment here and the transaction is currently pending so as i told you it takes several minutes to register so if i had also asserted the location there would have been another uh, activity here showing that the uh, location assertion activity and that would be also pending uh, but since i have not done that i have it's showing me only one activity which is the registration or adding the uh, hotspot to the blockchain so one thing to note here is that um, since the onboarding fee is already added when you first purchase it I skip the adding hotspot location uh, but I don't have to pay the uh, location assertion fee later on the first location assertion is always free so that can be done for free when I do it for the first time and two more facts about the hotspot so this is completely silent it doesn't make any noise during the operation and it's very lightweight it weighs only about 320 grams without the antenna and 340 grams with the antenna let me quickly go to the web browser and go to explorer.helium.com and type the name of my hotspot which is overt parch parchment here and you can see that there is none there is no hotspots in this name because it's not onboarded and there is no duplicate name for this one i can also go to hotspots and click on latest hotspots and you can see here the list of recently added uh, helium hotspots to the blockchain and my hotspot is not there yet so probably i have to wait for several more minutes and i will update you once the transaction is successful so let me refresh this page i have waited for a few minutes and uh, let's see if my hotspot has come here Alright, you can see that here is my hotspot over parchment here. You can see that no location set because I have not set any location and it has used the default antenna again which is 1.2. There is no height because again I didn't assert any height here. That these settings will be updated when I uh, place uh, assert its location. Also that means it has started syncing now and I know the rack hotspots are pretty slow. It, it usually takes several days to finish syncing. Uh, but to be safe at this point I will uh, connect its antenna here so uh, this is the uh, this side is RPSMA mail I will simply just connect it here and leave it for several days for syncing uh, one thing you can also do you can go back to the helium app and check whether the transaction has been completed or not so let's go back here and authenticate 
here all right so you can see that the right, the transaction has been completed and it's currently showing you showing me this is the name of my hotspot and the same details here and so if i click here it says it's syncing and the location is null so in this video i have showed you how to onboard the rag version to helium hotspot however the process is same for any helium hotspot i hope this information was useful to you if you have any more question let me know in the comment section that's all for today thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized